I'm Mark Jolly. I'm a psychic, a modern day oracle. Do you have a question you'd like to start with? Although I've been blind since birth, I have the ability to see things that others cannot. When I touch somebody's hand, I get flashes of their past, present, and future. I've teamed up with one of North America's most talented mediums. I'm Laura Warren. I've been communicating with spirits since I was a child. As a professional psychic medium, I act as a conduit between the living and the dead. Laura and I are on the road, putting our psychic skills to the test, investigating paranormal mysteries in some of the oldest places in North America. <laughs> While we tap into our psychic ability to solve the case, outside experts use logic and science in effort to debunk the supernatural. It's a dead zone. I did not find anything that could be interpreted as ghosts. A lot of staff and some of our members have mentioned that they have experienced strange activities here at the club. Voices, sensations. One incident I recall our cleaner talking about. He was here on his own. All of a sudden, lights were flickering on and off. Doors were banging. He was in quite a state when I got into work that morning. There was a noise coming from the second upstairs bar. Drr, 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 and really, really loud. It was scary. Downstairs in one of the dining areas, as soon as I walked into the room, I kind of felt a heaviness. Interesting thing about that room is that I heard somebody hung themselves in it. There's some areas of the third floor that just give you the kind of do not enter feeling. My brother heard a female voice, but then as they kept walking, they heard a loud scream. In the bathroom, I, I couldn't go into it, and I got stopped by an unseen force. I just felt despair, I guess, despair and heaviness and fear. In the end, it's up to you to decide, is this place haunted or not?